Now to the latest out of Aransas County. Firefighters back out on scene monitoring and putting out hot spots. Uh, this after a large brush fire report reportedly burned more than 100 acres out there yesterday. The fire breaking out in the area of FM 1069 and Bypass 35. Tonight, new information and new video that shows the extent of the damage. Our Bill Churchwell reports. Firefighters called back to the scene of Tuesday's massive brush fire after a flare up of one of the hot spots. From our eye in the sky, you can see the charred ground of the damage left in the fire's path. You can also get an idea of just how tricky the situation crews faced to battle those flames. The thick brush that made it difficult to maneuver. In fact, this picture is showing a brush truck that ended up being overrun by the flames and was lost to the fire. Amazingly, the crew on board is safe. High winds and low humidity helping spread the fire rapidly when it first sparked up. Families evacuated from nearby homes and RVs. We spoke with one woman live during our newscast as she got her parents out of harm's way. We couldn't even tell where the fire was coming from because it was just so big. And among the departments that responded were firefighters with the Texas A&M Forest Service. Crews as far away as Tennessee and North Carolina already stationed in the area, able to provide a helping hand. We had increased wildfire activity within the state of Texas. And so whenever we, our resources are limited, we uh, request resources from outside agencies. Firefighters on the ground using bulldozers to create what's called a fire break and stop the flames in their path. Just improving the lines, the are lines that were made last night. In all, at least two residences were lost and were told up to five firefighters received minor injuries. Whenever you're, you're working in, in these kinds of conditions, um, you can get exhausted pretty quickly. As far as the cause, the Texas Fire Marshal's Office has been called in to assist in pinpointing what sparked this fire. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.